a Big Spark Studios original. This is spiders. Like, they're going across the sidewalk with spider web coming out of the asshole. Out of the bum crack. <laughs> I would be... Oh, it's going? That is upsetting for sure. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Unhinged with Chris Clemens, the podcast that we're apparently starting this episode. What? God. <laughs> um... Thank you for tuning in for another episode, or if this is your first one, make sure you subscribe wherever you to listen to podcasts, to Unhinged with Chris Clemens, and for video episodes, you can go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Chris, where I upload them every Thursday as well, and on Sundays, I do normal videos that, uh, I don't know. Also, be sure to leave a review and rate this podcast. That helps tremendously, and there was something, we have a TikTok, Unhinged Clips. Don't want to brag that it's popping off, but did I get 20,000 followers this week? <laughs> that is the truth. So are you, Sachin. Um, uh, today is November 19th. This is two days after recording the Thanksgiving episode, and I am feeling a little spicy, a little punchy, a little, um, what do I, how do I say it? Like, um, irritable? <laughs> I don't know why it's like one of those moods where you just like wake up and you're like, Hmm, I'm not sensing today is going to go. I don't think this is for me. And that's kind of how I'm feeling. Um, I keep saying, um, and now I'm aware of it. What were we just talking about that I would talk about? Adele's album just came out. I haven't listened to that. Oh, it went to a wedding in Palm Springs last week. I don't remember if I talked about it during Thanksgiving, but I feel like I didn't. It's for my best friends, Aaron and TJ. I'm so excited. They had this wedding planned for April 2020, and as... We know now through history that wasn't happening because of the pandemic. And so then they rescheduled to the fall and then it didn't happen. And then a year later, it finally fucking happened. And it was so funny. What isn't funny is how many pictures there are, both disposable and the professional photographers there, of me licking people. (laughs) I don't know why when I'm drunk, I stick my tongue out and I just want to like lick everyone consensually, of course. But like, wait, consensually? That's right, right? Like, did yeah. you ask? I was thinking like sensually, and then I was like, no, I said consensual. Regardless, yeah. So I have too many photos of me just like licking people who are like making kissy faces at me. It's just so confusing. But the wedding was so fun. It was in Palm Springs. It was gorgeous. It was just yeah. My one of my best friends, Luke. He was in New York. He's lives in New York. He flew out for it because he's friends with them as well. So it was just nice to like go to Palm Springs with him and just hang out with him because I don't get to spend that much time with him. Oh, he was on this podcast. Durr. Um, And then, oh, I'm like trying to think of a video to film for this weekend because I have a brand deal and like I can't just upload a two minute ad, sadly. Um, So I'm trying to think of a video and that always puts me in like a funk because I'm like, oh, will this do well? Like, how do I even title this? Anyways, I don't know why I'm starting this whole episode off on such a terrible, terrible outlook. But hey, it's me. Let's just get into it. Um, Before we get into it, however, I want to do a little charitable shout out. And this one came from one of you guys. And this is a GoFundMe. And it came from Austin Florio. And he said, or they said, earlier this year, my mom was diagnosed with stage four metastatic metastatic breast cancer. I'm so sorry. This is like the worst time to not have reading comprehension skills. She is the strongest woman in my life. She battles this disease and still works a full-time job. She keeps a smile on her face every day and does everything she can to enjoy life to its fullest. We are facing a hard decision of an early retirement because of the side effect of the disease and her treatment. My stepdad works tirelessly to make sure that they are supported no matter what. All donations go directly to my mom to help her keep her feeling of security and be able to live stress and worry free during this transition in her life. And this just really stuck out to me. Again, this isn't an organization or anything that's changing the world, but to have this ability to put stories like this in front of a bunch of people, I don't take for granted. And my mom is someone who I've said time and time again, I just can't imagine life without her. So this really resonated with me. I think, It would be so cool for all of us to come together for Connie 
and all of her family and just whatever you have, even if it's a dollar, two dollars, it will go so much further than you think if all of us give one or two dollars. But I just thought it was a great cause. So the or uh, the link for the GoFundMe will be in the description of this episode and you can go donate. Once again, highly encourage it, especially in the holiday season that we're approaching. It's nice to give, you know, so let's go. Let's go support them. Make them feel good during this time. (sighs) Now let's get to a part where I won't be feeling good. The hot box. I went on my Instagram and the unhinged Instagram and I said, guys, there is no topic. This is a free for all. Ask me anything. Ask for advice. Ask for opinions. Please just don't traumatize me even further from this podcast. Oh, you can call in. 810, no. (laughs) 310-844-6459. I don't know why these episodes lately just feel like I've never recorded a podcast. But I have. 21 of them. This is the 21st. Um, So yeah, let's get into it. Oh, there's like a blood moon or something. Maybe that's what it is. All right, thank you, Twilight. <laughs> Let's get into the voicemails. <laughs> the blood moon. Oh like he's a God. rebirth. Okay, all right. Of what? My Hi, fucking Chris. mental Calling illness? In from the East Coast. Hey, East Coast. Um, I have a little problem. So <gasps> my best it? friend of 11 years. Oh, boy. Um, great bestie, 10 out of 10. Always fucking sees the red flags before I do in my relationship. Okay. However, um, he is deeply unsettled by the fact that I choose to do OnlyFans and not let him see my content. But Loki, I think he has a secret account to see my content. Not sure how to approach this. Should I confront him or let it be and let that money rake in? Thank you, Chris. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh, my God. I love when people tell me where they're from. If you guys are going to call in. Oh, my God. How? Watch what happens live of us. Uh, Hannah from the East Coast is calling in. Um, but that... See, this is my dilemma of why I don't do OnlyFans. is because I can't picture... Like, people on the internet, sure. I will hopefully never meet you if I did OnlyFans. The thing is, the fact that I could have friends or family log in and see me shooting babies everywhere no 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 and furthermore no i that is just not like that is why i will not try and monetize probably the only thing i haven't tried monetizing which is my penis (laughs) um (laughs) i just i think that that is something you're taking into account when you start only fanning you know and wait so this was their best friend or their boyfriend Best friend? Her friend. Okay, that's what I thought. Honestly, if they have a secret account, just keep it going. They're they're paying. They are paying. So you know what? Take that green and hit the road. I don't know what that was. Yeah, I I mean you can, or you could just be like, hey, can I borrow your computer? Mine died, and then like go on OnlyFans and see if they're like they have an autofill. And then you can see who they're subscribed mm. to. Yeah, it's okay. FBI, if this doesn't work out, I'll be knocking on your door. Do I want it? No, I probably won't. I'd probably just sit on the couch and be on my my 500-pound life. That really, like, is my plan B to, like, life. It's just, all right, worst comes to worst, I will just gain a ton of fucking weight from, like, eating and living out my dreams, and then I'll just go on TLC. Sounds like a solid plan B. You could do, like, OnlyFans mukbangs. (gasps) Oh! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I could, like, fully just jack Trisha Paytas' whole, like, vibe. Is that her OnlyFans content? No, but, like, I mean, she, I I subscribed to her Patreon, like, so long ago. Mm-hmm. And I'm not still subscribed, just for the record. Um, that was just, like, a one-video thing. Although I did consider, because it was just so much entertainment. But she did, like, naked vlogs. Mm. Like, it was crazy because it felt like you were watching a YouTube video, but then, like, you would just, like, see her pussy. And you're like, wow, wow. Yeah, she, that, yeah, wow, this is not YouTube. Um, So, yeah, like, I, I think that just, like, is what you sign up for when you do OnlyFans is the fact that people in your personal life have also access to all access. So, that, I don't think I can help you here, sweetheart from the east coast 
calling someone sweetheart sounded so demeaning. <laughs> so condescending. Yeah, it sounded so <laughs> condescending. I meant it as like a babe, honey. No, got it. Noted. Next. <laughs> hey, Chris. Hi. I've been sleeping with my sneaky link for like four years now. And I seriously have the biggest crush on him. And he comes over like Can we start a this few over? times a week. I missed like, like literally the I one keyword. Him- She's sleeping with who? Sneaky. sneaky link. What? I think that's like booty call. It's a right? term that I only recently learned. S- and I'm older than you. What is it called? Sneaky link. Oh, sneaky link. I thought you said sneaky leak. And I was like, what the fuck? Stop calling me. Call your doctor. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. This makes so much more sense. I didn't hear anything. And then I heard you say sneaky leak. And I was like, that phrase is atrocious. Anyways. Hey, Chris. Hello. I've been sleeping with my sneaky link for like four years now. Got it. And I seriously have the biggest crush on him. And he comes over like a few times a week. But like, I just want him to be my boyfriend so bad. But I don't know how to get out of the rut of like sleeping together. You're like, that's like all we do. And like, I want to do more. But I don't know how to bring it up to him. Please Help me. Thank you. Love yeah, you. Bye. You're welcome. Yeah, so you have a sneaky link and you want to take it a step further and be in a relationship. Well, joke's on you. You called the person who's been single for their entire lifetime. So good luck. I mean, I don't know why you're calling me. You're getting sex on a regular basis for four years. <laughs> Do you know what kind of dream of mine you are currently living in? <laughs> like literally the golden dream. Oh, my God. Fuck you. There. That's my advice. I mean, what? That is like rubbing it. I have a sneaky link, and I am just obsessed with him, and we have been boning for four years. What do we do, little virgin? (laughs) Just for the record, I'm not a virgin. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but, like, I mean, I definitely feel like one after listening to that. Fuck. What advice? I mean, ask him. Have him deep in you and just be like, so... Do you want to take this deeper? I'm not talking anal. I'm talking committed monogamy. Mm. Try that. that. Tell me how that goes. I would like love to know that research. That's my answer. Thank you. Hi, Chris. My Hi. name's Kaylani. I'm Hi, currently Kaylani. just sitting here rolling a blunt. I love you. Oh I God. have a question. What is something you've been wanting recently that's not money or a material object? Get back to me. Um, if we didn't know, sex. <laughs> um, what am I looking for? I am looking for, okay, it's not material or financial. Yeah. I'm looking for love. <laughs> no, I guess I like might be. Like I'm open to it. But then like with love, I get so weirded out. Like then you have to like introduce them to everybody in your life. And then like if it doesn't work out, then it's like, Everyone knows them and then knows it didn't work out. And so, like, to me, I'm like, my ideal, I think, is just, like, (laughs) finding someone who has, like, no family or friends. (laughs) Like, no, that sounds so toxic. And it is. But, like, I want to find someone who has no family or friends that I need to meet. Like, I feel good with my circle. I feel good with, like, I don't want to have to then, like, go and hang out with their friends. And then, like, if I hate them, it's like, ooh. You know? Like, I... Like, I'm on this one dating app, and I'm about to delete it because it's just so useless. It's called Raya. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. I'm on it mostly just for boredom. It's, like, fun to, like, it's, like, people watching, but you don't have to go anywhere. And I'm on there, and I see pic- pictures of people with their friends, and I'm like, no. Just strictly off the friends. I'm like, I don't want to get to know them. I don't, I don't see this as a meshing situation. So maybe, like, a relationship or, like, Oh my God, no more back pain. That sounds gorgeous. Or like motivation to like wake up in the morning. That, that. Oh my God, I want to like be an early riser again. I was in this moment. I'm not a morning person. Like um, physically, I was a morning person. Emotionally, not a morning person. Never will be. But like before this pandemic, I would get up at like 6.37. I would start my day. It was nice that like it would be quiet in the house and like, no one was really awake in the world. Like, mm, I would work out. Like, oh my God, I can't even imagine having that will to live. I mean, like, no, that sounds depressing. But like, I feel like my mental health is getting better. But it's like that motivation to like <laughs> go a step further than just like the bare minimum. That's 
That's my answer. I don't even remember the question, but I think that's my answer. Yeah. Now I'm afraid to play the next one. Why? Just I, I feel like you won't want to answer it. Well, then I won't answer or, it. Okay. I'll tell them to fuck off and I won't answer. Hi, Chris. Hey, babe. Um, so you seem to be very private with your love life. I am. Um, I just, But I'm just curious to know what your ideal type is what or what you look for in a partner or just your... Your ideal lover or <laughs> whatever you want. I hate wanna. that word. Uh, but yeah, just curious. There's a quote from 30 Rock. It's Thank like, you. I, love oh, you. love you. Thank you. I'm like on a different <laughs> tangent. Um, there's a quote from 30 Rock. Liz Lemon goes, oh, I hate the word lover unless it's between the words meat and pizza. And I'm like, literally, <laughs> that is me. That is me. That is me. I hate the word lover. Um, no, oh my God. I thought this was going to be way worse when you were like, you won't want to answer this. I don't think I have a type. I know I, people in my life would definitely say that I do. Um, I definitely like someone who, yeah, I don't have a type, honestly, like willing and like. <laughs> <laughs> no friends. <laughs> willing, no, no family. friends and family. <laughs> <laughs> Prisoner. Also doesn't talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <I'm laughs> no, that is so... F- See, this is why I don't tell people any of this, because what goes on in my head are just intrusive thoughts. It is like an inner state of intrusive thoughts. Um, what I look for in a person, I mean, they. I need like a stimulating conversation. Like, I really enjoy when you don't have to think about, like, what am I going to talk about? Or... Like, I don't know, someone, I feel like I carry a lot of conversations in my life. It would be nice if someone could, oh my God, who the fuck is, oh, it's my ring. <laughs> Andrew is doing his morning stroll, I can tell. Um, <laughs> it goes off like a hundred times. He's like in the front door, to the front lawn, to the driveway, back to the front door, to the driveway. It's, anyways. Um, <laughs> hi, Andrew. Yeah, I like someone who can like also hold a conversation or carry a conversation. Um, someone who's like into not into their appearance because that sounds shallow, but, like, cares about, like, not clothing. Like, this all just sounds so fucking shallow. Well, like, mutual interests? Yeah, like, I like people who, like, not care about their appearance because it isn't about that, but, like, care to... Who like putting effort into their appearance. Like, that is nice to me. Um, People who can cook. Um, I mean, this just sounds so stupid now. I'm, like, literally at this point, the bar is so fucking low. Yeah, those feel like good starters, I guess. I don't know. Now I'm just thinking about how I'm just so fucking single. No, but what you said your friends would say you had a type. But what would they? I'm just curious. None of your fucking business. (laughs) People are like, you're private about this. So I want to ask. And I'm like, no, girl, that is for a reason. Okay. Um, No, I just think that that kind of stuff is so personal. And then to like share it feels so weird. Like, just follow me on social media until I maybe land someone. Then you'll see my type. <laughs> That's so stupid. Yeah, no, I don't know. I just, I like people my height or taller. Um, I like when people take care of me. That's, like, a nice feeling because I always take care of everyone. So I like when people are, like, very assertive and are like, I got this. And I'm like, whew, mamma mia. <laughs> I don't know, guys. I don't fucking know. This is just... Yeah, acts of service, right? I mean, that sounds like a little crazy. Oh, yeah, like love language. What? No, I mean, like that... (laughs) Let's just next caller. Next Next... (laughs) Next caller. We got... We we get it. You know, just... They need to have a pulse and be living. That's really the two main criteria. This is the last one, and it's weird, so try to follow it. Oh, Hi, this is Nadia. I got a Hi, quick Nadia. question for you. Okay. It's more of advice or what to do. Okay. I just recently got out of a relationship. Well, it's kind of like, I don't even know if it was a relationship to begin with. Because this man came over, and when I was in the bathroom, he cash wrapped himself from my phone. What? Over $800. I didn't know it at the time. So I continued to see him. And then the second time he came over, he cashed out himself over $300. I'm like, okay. And how that went down, he took a video on Snapchat, sent it to me. He was lip syncing to a song, driving. Then he panned the camera to a girl who looked mighty embarrassed. And then panned it back to him. And at the end of the song, he said, that sucks. I wasn't going to be jealous. I asked him. I'm like, hey, 
um, who's a pretty girl. He's like, oh, that's my girlfriend. And I'm like, oh, okay. And then after that, I get a call from Huntington Bank saying that I lost over a thousand one hundred dollars. I'm like, how did this happen? And they said cash app. I look at my cash app and I see his name all down the list. I'm like, okay, great. That is great. So I well, want to take it to the cops, but it has story. been over three months. And he said he'll pay me back, and he never did. What should I do? Thank you. Call the fucking police? <laughs> what? I mean, this phone number is what? Ten digits long? You just needed three. Nine, <laughs> one, and one. I don't know if they would help. Well, no. When do the police help? I mean, ugh. Call the bank. They call can- the bank. Ba- like, uh, don't call. He- this is like last, last, last resort. Like, even if you're in jail, do not call here. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? I mean, later today, I'm about to try 26 different hard seltzers. I don't think this is the place you call when you're <laughs> in need of a quick fix. What? Oh, my God. Did you just spill? No. Oh, there goes the soundboard. I guess we'll have to <laughs> quit the podcast. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have any advice. I mean, like, do you, do you, like, see, this is where we need callbacks. We really have to incorporate the callbacks. Just realize that my vape pen is just standing there like the Washington Monument. <laughs> um, yeah, I would, like, okay, try and find him. And then, like, square up. Like, come with, like, friends. <laughs> no. I would... No. Thank you so much for your call. Is that the last one? That's the last one. Thank I God. Call their bank. I, yeah, call your bank. Put a stop payment. Call your bank. Stop payment. What else? You, you put a stop payment on the charge. Because the third-party sales things are weird. Like, Venmo and PayPal. Like, they... Contact Cash App, maybe, too? Cash App won't help. I bank. Oh, okay. I don't have... I don't ca- know. Why I am I giving advice now? Uh, gr- the same reason I'm giving advice. I don't know. We were both prompted. <laughs> First I was, then I was like, eh, pass off to you. All righty. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Um, I would do a rant today, but <sighs> I don't feel like ranting about the stupid <laughs> lord f- named Kyle Rittenhouse being not guilty on all five counts. So we're going to skip right over that because, I mean... Just for all of our sanity, I don't think any of us want to hear even more about that because it's pretty horrifying. Oh, fuck. Now we're just straight up trying seltzer. Okay. I'm like, maybe I do want to rant. Hmm, Let's (laughs) prolong this as much as possible. Fuck. All righty. So what? What? Tell me. Oh, okay. Make sure you bleep. And then the one I just said. (laughs) Oh, dude. Okay. Yeah. So sorry to add more to your plate. Um, so as something we've done quite often here is <laughs> trying alcohol. Um, <laughs> we, when we were trying Celebrity Liquors Part 1 and 2, we realized, oh my God, there is as much celebrity alcohol as there is, there's even more hard seltzers. So we figured in this giant, beautiful igloo cooler, we have it filled with 26 different flavors and kinds there are overlap with the brands but they're all different flavors from different brands so we are going to rank them i didn't come up with anything i figured this is like real modern day research like i feel like this re- i feel like this is okay in the year 2021 where seltzers i mean Everything is getting turned into a seltzer. I mean, like, I'm waiting for McDonald's to come out with a seltzer at this point. That's like, mix seltz. You know that that's like a year away from inception. <laughs> Fuck, or conception, or some kind of eption. Um, so, yeah, we have S tier, which is superb, mm-hmm. as we learned. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have A, B, C, D, and F. It's pretty self-explanatory. I didn't have the brain power to come up with funny little segments. So, that's what we're doing. Oh, I will say, I'm going to give the preface. There is cacti in this grouping. This was purchased whenever that came out. I went and got it because whenever like celebrities come out with new products, as someone who also puts out products, I like seeing what people do. I like seeing where people fail and I like where seeing, I like seeing where people do something really well. So I bought cacti when it came out. Obviously, With everything going on right now, I just wanted to make that clear. I would not have bought cacti at this point in time. No. 
This has been sitting in my home because I had one flavor. I don't even remember which one. And it tasted so bad that I was like, we'll save this. If we ever have a party, we'll just have this be like free alcohol. So that is why we have cacti. I just wanted to make that clear. I know it's maybe over explaining, but I feel it's important to whatever. Chris, shut up. All right, let's do it. The first one we have is Happy Hour Margarita Seltzer. And it is the flavor margarita made with real tequila, real juice, and sparkling water. This is um, the first one. Let's do it. Oh, my God. I'm, like, so nervous. I'm going to take... Oh, my God. I thought it was about to bubble over. I'm going to take a small sip from each one um, for obvious reasons, because I don't feel like going to Passages Malibu today. (laughs) So here we go. Here's the margarita. Wow, it smells like tequila. Just... Oh my god. It is liter oh, it's one o'clock, I guess. It still feels so early. <laughs> the it's sun's okay. setting. <laughs> the sun is setting at 1 a.m. PM. Chris, just drink. Hold up. <laughs> um whoa. This definitely has a sweetness element. There were these drinks called Fruit 2O. Do anybody remember those? It was like water that had like a lemon flavor or a lime flavor or a raspberry. Oh. My Oma and Opa were obsessed with them. And every time we went and visited them when we were younger, they would have flats of them. So we would just drink them. It tastes so much like that. But like the smell of tequila is much more strong than the taste of it. This is like way better than, let's see, I've had like White Claw. I would pick this over a White Claw any day. The sweet, it is a little sweet for me um, just because I don't love, like when I'm having like drinks, I'd rather have, like, the sweetness be in food or dessert because I'm a fat ass. Um, But this is a little sweet. I'm going to put this at, like, a B tier. I also don't love, like, some margarita mixes just aren't for me. Like, they just taste very thing. So this has, like, a inkling of that. But this I'd put, like, almost at A. But I'm going to do B for happy hour margarita seltzer. Not bad at all. All right. Next up. Ugh, God. We have cacti, and this is the pineapple agave spiked seltzer. Fuck, I just, I think this might have been the flavor I had. I don't, I really have no idea which flavor I had. I don't, I like pineapple, and that really is almost it. I don't like pineapple flavored things, if that makes sense. So, thank you. Oh my God. The smell. Oh my God. Oh. Oh. My God, the smell alone. Ooh. 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 Chris. Pungent. You also Pungent said that is... was aged. <gasps> oh, yeah, no, these yeah. are like a it's year. A these are at least old. <laughs> yeah, these are vintage cacti. These have <laughs> aged in the can. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ha. Ooh. That is literally... So bad. That is a D. That is a D. If I had to... No, that might be literally an F. If I were at a party and that was the only thing left, I think I'd literally rather be sober. There. I said it. That's an F. Cacti pineapple? F. Next up, we have Vizzy. I have never... With antioxidant and vitamin C. Okay, whatever. That one's apparently gluten free. They're all gluten free. Oh, I checked, I believe. Oh. Yeah, because a lot of them, a lot of these seltzers are like sugar alcohol and not like vo- wheat or, or like, like grain. Like, the weird like vodka thing. is grain. Got it. So when it's like gluten free, it's like made from like potatoes or something. I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, this is Vizzy Lemonade Hard so- Oh my God. So this is like Mike's Lemonade, but this is peach flavored. I. Don't I go in between? I go back and forth on peach flavored things. Like sometimes I really love them, and then sometimes I really absolutely hate them. But here we go. Oh, bitch. Oh, bitch. How much alcohol is in here? 5%. Wow, that might be an S tier. That so early. So early. S for so fucking early, but S for smash this into me. (laughs) This is like, I really. (laughs) Literally, like, oh my God, S. Vizzy Peach Lemonade, big S. 
Oh my god, I'm already like feeling. Um, next up, we have Bud Light Seltzer Watermelon Mojito. <laughs> oh my god, this is going on, and I don't know about it. I'm obsessed with this. This is five percent alcohol. A little ASMR for our freaks at home. Um, all right, let's get into it. Oh my god. Okay, that. <laughs> Ooh. The this the taste I got upon impact literally tasted like an edible. Like that tasted weed infused. I don't know if it's because so many of my edibles have like are watermelon flavored. I like watermelon and I like mojitos. This together, I had a lot of hope for this. This is maybe like a hold on. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty heavy. Um, I'm gonna put this one in C. Like, it's very middle of the road. If it was out of party, I would, I guess, drink this. But I guess still, even then. Yeah, it's not the worst, but... the fla Are the flavors, like, overpowering? I just don't think they go together. Like, mm. I taste part of the mojito, and then I taste part of the watermelon, but then, like, the middle ground of them together, I'm like, uh, I don't know about this. Yeah, I think... Because there's so many seltzers, I feel like some companies try and make like they're trying to make them like the so, wildest concoctions. Well, not even the wildest, just like the most desirable. And I'm like, mm. no, I know we all love mojitos and watermelon. I don't think we needed them together. What if we did like a mojito and a watermelon pack where we had watermelon ones and mojito flavored ones? But this one I'm going to put as a C, very average. C for Chris, it's average. <laughs> No, the name the name Chris is like so fuck. It, dare I say it's below average? Um, next up, oh my god, I've never had these, but I've been dying to the Topo Chico hard seltzers. They are spiked. This one is the tropical mango flavor. My body already feels. You know those machines that they have now? They're like you can customize any flavor and pick any flavor and it just has different syrup flavors go into the sparkling oh the coca-cola freestyle machine yeah where you can like get like any <gasps> you can get like any <laughs> soda any flavor but the problem is like, that's how my body feels right now i okay. feel like i have like all these different flavor compartments in me and i'm like i feel <laughs> like i weigh three tons just like those machines like oh my god i don't feel s good at all um all right Topo chico hard seltzer Tropical mango. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> maybe you should ooh. eat a real mango. No, maybe I should just stop while we're ahead. <laughs> oh my god, I live for Topo Chico. I don't want to if it's this. Oh my god, that was. Do you want me to move the table? Quickly? <sighs> like, <laughs> no, it's fine. Honestly, it's kind of funny just like watching me struggle. Um, this I'm gonna put. <laughs> this I'm gonna put as an F. This is bad. An F? Is cacti an F? Is that where we put... Yeah. Cacti and this... No, okay. This one's a D. Cacti is like... No, but so is this one. I don't know why I'm trying... Like, I love Topo Chico, so I'm like, no, it's not. It's... Oh, we're... Thank you so much. Um. Yeah, I'm putting the Topo Chico hard mango or whatever as an F. I didn't like it at all, and I'm really sad because I live for a Topo Chico moment, so... Sorry. It's okay. There's several more of them. Maybe <laughs> no, we'll yeah, no. There's like, we bought like variety packs of everything. Um, next up, we have Happy Hour Tequila Seltzer Sharp Lime Flavor. Same thing, real lime juice. I am not a huge lime person. So, like, the only time I will ever be like, oh, lime is when I'm taking a shot of tequila and I need to bite it afterwards. I just don't like lime flavored things. So if I don't like that, this, that's probably why. But here we go. This is the happy hour. Tequila seltzer, hard lime, sharp lime, sharp lime confirmed. Oh my God. Yeah. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. that is literally, that is good. If you like lime, I can't, I can't. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. That I'm just, I don't like lime and that it like, it's so hard to explain because, like, it's good if I liked lime, you know? That makes sense. D does it? Yeah. Okay. I don't like cilantro. It's, like, hard to explain. It tastes like, like mint Well, don't explain. Just, just. What the fuck do you like? Um, hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Justin! 
<laughs> um, that one I'm going to put at like a C because it really, it is like taking a shot of tequila and biting the lime. It's like that entire, like that flavor of like the tequila in your mouth while as you bite the lime. Like it's not sharp or shivery like tequila, but it's like that exact, it's, I don't know. It's a great balance of lime and alcohol. I just don't like lime. So I'm going to put her at C. I feel like that's fair. Mm-hmm. You know, like, cause it's, good it's, yeah, no, try it. It's phenomenal. But the Topo Chico and like the cac- definite Fs, like those were just like bad, you know? Next up. Oh my God. This. <laughs> okay. I was just making sure that these were different. I, I was like, have all of the cans <laughs> like been you're, this like big? You're, you're shrinking. Um, okay. So we have a pint, one pint and nine fluid ounces of Bud Light Seltzer strawberry jesus christ i wish you guys could see this this is like bigger than my (laughs) cock um yeah chris i regret that ew no (laughs) um i'm gonna put bud light seltzer strawberry at a c as well no because like this is i i'm gonna mm. okay i'm moving happy hour lime to d and I'm putting Bud Light Seltzer Strawberry at C. No. I'm going to put them both at C. I'm so sorry, Justin, for you having to edit this. Yeah, I'm putting Bud Light Seltzer Strawberry at C as well with the sharp lime. Next up, we have Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer. Organic. Um, and this is the peach pear flavor. And this has 4% alcohol, which don't love but it does have 20 less calories than the rest of these (laughs) like should i be giving like the full rundown of each of these or like like are people i think most of these have 100 calories i mean i feel like that's why a lot of people gravitate towards seltzers in the first they're like healthier yeah but after like white claw the morning after i feel like shit and my shit is like liquid toxic waste it is there's something not right about there's a lot not right for sure. Anyways, this is the Peach Pear Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer. Oh, wow. that That's an S tier. Mm. That's a motherfucking S tier. <gasps> oh, wait. I think I've had these Michelob Ultra Seltzers before. And I, like, die for them. I remember them being so good. <gasps> yes, Michelob Ultra Peach Pear. Oh, my God. That tastes like literally a LaCroix. Oh my god! Well, I'm glad I forgot about those because oh boy, I'd really be in Malibu right now. Um, next up we have oh god, Bud Light <laughs> Seltzer Classic Lime Margarita. <laughs> but I feel like I can be fair and level-headed just because I don't like the taste if they're still good, you know. All right, here we go. Ew. Ew, <laughs> ew, ew. See, this has like the same kind of vibe as the happy hour, but this has, it has like such an artificial, like that thick syrupy taste. I just, I really was excited when I saw these Bud Light ones thinking like, what fun flavors? Like, look at the can. There's like foliage on it. No. um, This one's going to be like a D. It's not cacti bad, but it isn't a C. That's for sure. Um, what do we have? Okay, now we have, oh God. Topo Chico hard seltzer, tangy lemon lime. God damn. Jesus, take the wheel. Ew. I mean, I could see how people like that. Like maybe. It tastes like one of those, it tastes like a candy that you're like, I like it, but like, um, no, it tastes like chapstick. Mm. It tastes like a, why do I know this? Like Burt's Bees? Like it tastes like a hand lotion or a chapstick that oh. I've used before. And I'm like licking my lips now as if I'm wearing <laughs> chapstick. Um, <laughs> this isn't like bad, but it's it's going in a D. No, it might be going in F also. I like, I... <laughs> I'm sorry. The sounds are atrocious. Okay, guys, I'm doing research. Just let the scientists be at work. I'm going to put this at D. The le- the 
the crisp lemon lime or the the tangy lemon lime. I don't. I'm not about it. That's going in D. It's not. Yeah, it's not cacti bad, but it's D for damn. It's still not good. I wish it tastes like an actual Topo Chico. Like they're too fruity. Right, like they I, should lean into like the bubble. And the bubble. The... Like, hello. Oh, my God. If you need sparkling water or like club soda or whatever. the I don't. I still don't know the difference between like tonic water, club soda, and sparkling water. I'm like, are they not all the same? Mm-hmm. But if you're making a mixed drink and you need like club soda, Topo Chico is that bitch. It stays bubbly for like 20 years. I swear to God, like, I will make a drink and then go to bed, and then I'll wake up in the morning and, like, it'll be on the table, and I'm like, oh, it's still bubbling. Like, it is so good. Like, I love Topo Chico, but so far, I don't love their hard seltzers. Oh, my God. (laughs) Have you talked about Perrier yet? Fuck Perrier. Fuck Perrier. That shit is dis- Gusting. <laughs> they don't make seltzers, do they? No, do just they? like I just know. Uh, they should Perrier. barely make fucking water. <laughs> I I mean I think people who like Perrier are insane. I I would rather be dying of thirst than drink a Perrier. Perrier a pair. <laughs> I don't know. I'm think I'm starting to feel all of these. Oh my god! I've only had like ten. We still have oh, Drake, sixteen. A Perrier. <laughs> J- Why are you drinking a Perrier? I don't want it. You're stepping in front of the camera for a Perrier. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> not to be rude, but absolutely not a re-obstruct. Obstructing the shot for this table is one thing. Obstructing it for that piece of shit green can of garbage water? No. You just gave it a thumbs down. Yeah, it's go- Did I not just give you a full monologue audition of how bad Perrier is? Come on. Anyways, this is the Michelob Ultra Spicy Pineapple. I just don't like pineapple drinks. Like, I just don't. Anyways, this is me trying a pineapple drink. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Um, This is like the lime thing. I could see people liking this. I It tastes like literal pineapple. So, like, respect to them on that. I'm going to put this one in C just because it is good. I personally don't like the flavor. But, like, it isn't thick and syrupy. It isn't, like, that artificial. Like, this tastes like fucking fresh as pineapple. I just don't like it in drinks, so. So it seems like the Michelob Ultra is, like, kind of like the front runner. No, Michelob Ultra, if, like, I liked that flavor, would have been an S. But I don't like pineapple. I guess I should put that at, like, a B then. Because it's, like, good, but I just don't. Like, I would drink that if it was the last thing. Yeah, okay, I'm going to put this one, spicy pineapple, actually at B. Ugh, then I feel like I should put the happy hour lime at B also. Because that one was, like, good. I just didn't like the flavor. Okay, we're going to move that one to B. I am so sorry when you're editing this. God, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. I am so sorry, Justin. (laughs) Everyone, say I love you, Justin. He won't hear it, but... Uh. Oh, fuck. (laughs) That's what he did here. I can read it, though. (laughs) He can... (gasps) Comment, we love Justin. Mm. (laughs) No one's made it to this part of the podcast. (laughs) Everyone's like, yeah, we're good. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Topo Chico exotic pineapple. This really is my worst nightmare at this point. Okay, here we go. I don't want to do that. Like, the Topo Chicos have been so unimpressive. Oh. Hmm. That one is like a C. That one, I don't like pineapple again. But it had like a coconutty, like... <laughs> island girl vibe i'm kidding but like it did taste like tropical like it was like there was some coconut in there and i don't love coconut this is a c i can see people liking this i don't mostly because like that was an a like the other topo chicos had like weird or over sugary tastes this one had a pretty straightforward taste i just don't like the flavor so i'm gonna put that one at c I've fallen in. Um, this is the third pineapple in a row. What is going <laughs> on? This is truly pineapple. I've had truly before, and I think it's worse than White Claw. And I know that's a hot debate between people. Like, the truly army and the White Claw army are, like, not to be fucked with. But I don't like truly. I think everything tastes really thick, uh, thick and, like, artificial syrupy vibes. <laughs> with that being said... Here goes Truly Pineapple. Ew. 
That tastes, uh, that's like a D. There's almost no flavor. It honestly kind of tastes like a lemon muffin. Like a <laughs> poppy, lemon poppy, poppy seed muffin. <laughs> I am definitely bubbling with drunk. Um, that one I'm going to put at a D. That feels, or like a C. D feels harsh, but like I, fuck it, Chris, just stop taking this so seriously. You're, it's a D. Um, next up we have O, Vizzy. Oh my God. So the same company with the lemonade hard salt. Oh, so they just make lemonade hard seltzers with different flavors. Vizzy. Have any of you heard of Vizzy? I've seen it on like the shelves. No one's tried it. No. You've tried it. Yeah, it's good. I haven't tried it yet. No. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> My vibe that I'm getting from Vizzy is that they only make lemonade hard seltzers and they just have different flavors. This one is watermelon lemonade and I love watermelon lemonade. I don't know how I love it as an alcoholic seltzer. So let's go. Ooh. Ugh. That is like watermelon lemonade but the fact that like I know that that's going to be sitting in my stomach heavy and it's going to get me drunk I don't love damn that's crazy that tastes like literally watermelon lemonade I'm going to put her at A I maybe a B I'm going to put her at B B for baby she might hurt you but that wasn't bad like the flavor was good it did have like a slight syrupy Vibe. So that was maybe the reason for the demotion. Um, here we go. We have Bud Light Seltzer Mango Mai Tai. Why can't it just be a mango or a Mai Tai? Bud Light Seltzer. <sighs> if you look real closely, if you're watching, you can see the light leave my eyes. Oh my god. Okay, that's not terrible. I mean, it's not good. Ugh. I'm going to put her at D. I'm feeling like I'm getting really decisive with all of these. Yeah, I'm going to put Bud Light Seltzer Mango Mai Tai at C, actually. I'm going to put it at C. It's not atrocious. It tastes like a mango white claw. It still also doesn't. So we'll put her at C. Feels average. Um. There's a giant ice block in the cooler, and it's really hard to move around, so that's what you just heard. Anyways, next up, we have the Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer Watermelon Strawberry. Based off of the history of Michelob Ultra, I am excited for this. Please don't fucking fail me now. Although, Watermelon Strawberry, I don't feel like I've ever heard that as a combo anywhere, so cheers to innovation. Ooh, wow, that's um, I see why I've never seen that before. Um, that's like not bad. Like, yeah, the Michelob Ultra, what I like about them is they're not syrupy. Like, they all feel like very much like, like, I want to say thin, but like, I don't know, how, like when water is like thin, not thick. Did people get that? Maybe not, but like. <laughs> I'm going to put this one at like a B. It almost tastes just like sparkling water with like, like, it's like drinking a club soda and being like, okay, now imagine that there's natural watermelon and strawberry juices in it. And you're like, mm, okay, I kind of got it. It's like that. It pretty much is just water with bubbles with like a slight taste at the beginning. But there's no like lasting, like some of these bitches, you taste it for like a minute or two. This one, it tastes like I just had a glass of water. I might put her at, like, A, honestly. Michelob Ultra. Come on. Uh, yeah, I'm going to put the watermelon strawberry from Michelob Ultra at A. There. I fucking said it. And guess what? No one can say anything about it, except in the comments or as a review. Yeah, the review so far is... I'm feeling drunk. <laughs> um, we have only a handful left. Um, oh my God, I'm going to literally vomit. Some of these I pull up and I'm like, <laughs> um, next, is this the last Bud Light? I wish I could carry this mic with me. Um, we have Bud Light Seltzer Strawberry Daiquiri, which might be the only time the fruit and the drink are matching up for this Bud Light expedition. Um, 
I'm just thinking, like, if I don't open the can, I don't have to drink it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just feel... Not good. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. Bud Light Solber Strawberry Daiquiri. Oh, my God. If I could put that back in the can, I would. Ooh. It's just all syrupy. Like, ugh. I, like, ugh. God. They had an, another pack that it was sold out, but it was like another Bud Light Seltzer, like, gross holiday pack. Like, candy cane, something. Hi, Little Bud pack. Light. Seltzer division. If you keep selling fucking maple pear and candy cane and all of these different flavored seltzers, I will come to HQ. Okay, that is not only a promise but also a threat. You don't want to deal with this belligerent loudmouth who has no filter and, quite honestly, hardly any social skills at this point. Okay, <laughs> don't fuck with me. Stop making these filters. Hey, wait, it was sold out. It was sold out. That's that, why. That's, why that's a cry. Like these that weird we're starting a class action lawsuit. I don't give a fuck. That where's this? <laughs> See, oh my god, people will be like, "I'm not getting the vaccine. I don't know what's in it." But then they will be chugging the maple pear Bud Light <laughs> seltzers. I swear to fucking Christ, if he was even a real person, I swear to him. Oh my god, this is what you don't want me to be. Fucking fired up and a little buzzed. Oh, this isn't gonna end well for. Anyone. <laughs> I almost said no one, and then I was like, I think that's a double negative. What is math? <laughs> um, oh my God. I just fuck Bud Light seltzers. No offense. <laughs> like, not fuck. Like, I like. See, here's the fucked Don't up thing. When I didn't realize. <laughs> when I realized that I. When I didn't know that I had a gluten intolerance, I liked Bud Light beer just because, like, I'm a little pussy and, like, watered down beer <laughs> like that's definitely my lane that's yeah uh, that's our brand too oh my god that was almost just vomit and it tasted like oh, a fruit punch know. of seltzer that was upsetting <laughs> wow i might actually have to break to throw up no we're good <sighs> maybe like it no i don't even have to pee like it feels like there's like liquid all the way up to my like throat just like there's not enough. I mean, I can imagine there would be. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. No, I don't think anybody's supposed to have this many sips of all these different seltzers. I'm gonna. I'm on my Willy Wonka shit. And I'm gonna float to the ceiling. You're I'm gonna be like swimming around some bubbles, and the bubbles are coming out of my asshole. I'm just like, woo. Your, your stomach's like a witch's cauldron. No, my. Oh, is that a bucket for vomiting? Oh. Girl, I don't think that bucket's big enough. Have you seen the tall boys I've had here? No way. Where if I need it, no, don't break the shop for it. Jake, what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> Jake, no more moving when we're recording. Only Justin has moving rights. Okay, next up we have, oh my, oh, I'm actually excited for this one. I saw this one pulled out and I was thrilled. It is the Topo Chico Strawberry Guava. Wait, but I, I've hated all the Topo Chico, so maybe I should lower my expectations for this one. Consider them lowered. Um, all right, Topo Chico Strawberry Guava. Ooh. Like, okay, Topo Chico, this might be your best offering. I'm gonna put her at like a, a I wish I could do like a B and a half. You know, like it's, it's not a C, but not quite a B, you know? <laughs> She's not a C, not yet a B. Isn't that a Britney Spears song? Yes. Who is free? Cheers, Brit. I wish I could cheers you with something better than this. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to put this one at B. You know, I feel like tossing them a bone, which starts with B. And I don't hate this one. Like, would I immediately grab for it out of all of these? No. But may honestly, maybe. I might actually upgrade her to an A. Whoa. I know. I know. Strawberry Guava Topo Chico, you're an A. You're an all. Hey, now, you're an all. No, we don't have copyright for that. Thank you. Are there any other A's that you've... I don't remember, honey. I don't even remember the I'm ones I've... See, it sounds so degrade, honey. 
<laughs> I just mean it as like Sugar a term man. of endearment. Like, uh, like, girl, I have no, like, honey, I don't know. <laughs> like, I have not a fucking clue even where I am, if I'm being perfectly honest. We need a room with a window for this podcast. Like, this is starting to feel like an insane asylum. Like, American Horror Story could never. Vizzy Lemonade Hard Seltzer Strawberry Lemonade. I also love strawberry lemonade, so let's... Ooh, that one's a squirter. Yeah, see... Ooh, ha, ha, ha. These... I'm at a dilemma with these Vizzy bitches because they taste like the strawberry lemonade, and they taste like the watermelon lemonade. But there's, like, a level of just slight syrupy thickness that doesn't sit right with me. Whereas opposed to when you're having like a watermelon lemonade, it's like thinner feeling like it's, you still like feel that like thick sugar vibe, but it's like, you're still like, okay, it's still like liquid. This feels like the Vizzies <clears throat> just have like a slightly thicker syrup feel or taste than like a normal juice. So it's hard for me. So I'm going to put this one at like a C. This one wasn't my favorite, but I'd still probably... No, I might actually put this one at a D. I don't love the strawberry like artificial flavor. And in this one, I just don't feel like it worked. And that's why you're out. I don't know why. I just felt like I was on Project Runway and I was like, you're out. And then I like totally forgot what a German accent is. Thank God this is being recorded. Um, okay, we have four more. Oh my God. No, like quite literally. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, we're missing one. Wait, we're, where's the passion fruit hi happy hour? Gee. We're missing a passion fruit happy Gee, hour. Freezer, that's what we're on it. Oh. Where is it? Alrighty, welcome back. We have not only found the passion fruit happy hour, but unfortunately we did find the two other cacti. Double-edged sword. And then double that. Um, so... Oh, and... That's just what I pulled out. It's a cacti, and to make it even worse, it is lime flavored. Okay. Um, so I will say, in the five minute hiatus we took from this, I have felt exponentially worse. So if you want to know what it's like to sample twenty six seltzers in a day, no, you don't. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! That is. Where's the bar bucket? <laughs> Wait, where did that bucket go? Go, Jake. Go, Jake. You can actually interrupt the shot for this one. Just oh my god. Don't trip, don't trip over the cord, no cord, no cord. I'm not going to vomit, but like that one really put me close. Oh, <sighs> that's an immediate F. Like that was a faster F than I got all through school. That was, I can't believe he's getting away selling these. Do people drink these? They How old are yours? It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> they taste like shampoo. No, they taste like beer and out liquor combined. They're disgusting. And shampoo. I'm yeah. getting that. Or like scented markers. Oh my god, the smell alone literally smells like... Oh my god, like literal shit. Like it smells like actual dog shit. Like I'm not even doing this as a bit. Like it smells... This ain't a bit. It smells like shit. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have Vizzy. Oh, my God. Raspberry lemonade. I do love raspberry lemonade, but I think it's going to be the same thing of, like, really thick up. Thick up. <laughs> really thick and syrupy. Mm -hmm. This one's not bad. Again, it does have that thick syrupy taste, but it feels less than the others. I'm going to put this one in. I wish I remembered where I put like literally any of the others. Um, I'll put this one in a B. I don't know why. I don't really have rhyme or reason at this point. I'm just kind of throwing them places so I can throw up. Um, <laughs> how many? What? I know. She's saying, look at how many there are. <laughs> no, look at how many there are. Look at how many there are. I go on my drunken rant. I'm like, look how many there are. <laughs> You think this is easy, and people think my job is easy. It is not. It's just not. Okay, and they're telling me I can't put my mouth on the microphone. Why? Um. Yeah. No. This is a B. Uh, all right. We are. Uh, let's just get this one out of the way. Mango white claw. That is ten feet tall. Oh, 
my breathing is getting heavier because I'm like really like trying to savor every last breath I could get because it really could be the last. Is that the last? Oh, oh no, girl, you wish. Oh, I wish. We all wish. We all just want this to be over. Yep, that's why I go my clock. <laughs> that is like a solid C, -A almost D, but like C. White Claw Mango. I think I'm just tired of like the artificial mango flavor. Yeah. It doesn't taste like mango. Oh, like have we all just been duped into thinking that like this is what mango tastes like? It's not. Oh, what? what so what does it taste like to you? I mean, it's like, like mango, but it's like, it tastes like a little bit of pineapple, a little bit of orange, and a little bit of mango. But There's like all fake versions. Yeah, just like that. It's like how cherry doesn't taste like actual cherries. It's like this. It's like, this is the candy version of mango as opposed to the real version of mango, which is unbeatable. Yeah, this is a C. Or see you next Tuesday, bitch. Um, oh my God, which one? Okay, next up we have Happy Hour Tequila Seltzer Grapefruit Edition. Um, ooh, plus an ice cube. And extra water. Not a huge grapefruit person either. I know at this point it's like, Chris, what do you fucking like? <laughs> at this point, not fucking much. Ooh, that one. Mm. <laughs> this one might be a D. Did not like the grapefruit. In my humble opinion. But that's just me. Maybe it's because it's a grapefruit. Maybe because I've had 96 different seltzers. Um, not a fan of this one. This one's in D. Oh, my God. I'm in D, too. D for dead. That's where you guys were supposed to laugh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I feel like we should have made Chris play some game while, like... Oh, I yeah. Is there anything else here. you want this monkey to do? <laughs> Jump, dance, do a backflip, a cartwheel? We've what about a full-on round-off? Just to distract you from the pain that... There could be a needle in my arm and an IV drip of holy water, and I would not be distracted from the fucking pain. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, we have three left, and I'm really like... There's like three the, more. There's three more, and I'm like really at the point where I'm like, I... <laughs> Lightning round. I No, I, I really am like questioning if I can do it. I feel... Guys, this has been... Oh my God. More than 26 because I didn't even count the three or four that were in the fridge that we just pulled out. Are there 30? I'll kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> if there are 30 of these that I just tried, let's hold on. I'm going to count really quick and we're all going to listen. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, so those didn't clout include the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stop laughing at me. It's not laughing with me or for me. It's laughing at me. I think I could throw up. We are taking a brief pop. No. Oh, this is heavy. It's really just took 21 episodes to get here. Oh, I really think it's going to happen, guys. Just make sure it's to camera. No. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on, this might be the thumbnail. Do you need water? I mean, I need the Holy Spirit. What'd that lady say? Holy Spirit, activate. <laughs> Quote little Vicky. Well, Vicky, whatever her fucking name is. No, I think we got this. I think I just needed the actions. Whew, that was scary. I was like, I don't know if this bucket can hold what I'm bringing. Um, okay, we're back. I don't know if we cut or if we just <laughs> left all of that in. So this is Michelob Ultra Cucumber Lime. Oh, my God. Three more, Chris. Three more. Here we go. Yep. Okay, that's... Oh, God. <laughs> Woo! Um, I don't like cucumber or lime, really, but that was kind of pleasant. I'm going to put that at an A because these aren't syrupy. Like these, like, I think that's what makes me nauseous is like, just, oh, can't even talk about that. I'm going to put this at an A. Thank you, Michelob Ultra, for being the only person really showing up to this event. 
in dress code. Fuck, we have another cacti. Oh, my God. The cacti's really put me over the edge. Like, they are just bad. <laughs> I'm sorry for the listeners, but I'm not because <laughs> it's nothing compared to what I'm going through. Um, okay, we're just going to get this one out of the way. Strawberry cacti. I'm going to put the bucket in my lap just to, uh, you know, I'm all about plan B's. The pill, having one, just 500 pound life. Is that what my plan B was? And now this. Here we go. This is cacti strawberry. The smell <laughs> is assaulting. Oh my God. I like can't. It's it's like zip lining. It's like I can't get myself to jump off the platform. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my God. I'm like, Jesus, just come up already. Uh, Well, I think it's clear that this was an F. Did I say an F or an F? Because honestly, I mean both. (laughs) Oh, my God. I mean, I know he's in a fucking $750 million lawsuit, but let's raise it to a billion. This is toxic. Oh my god, that is so bad. There's literal tears in my eyes. Yeah, that was just a fucking F. Cacti is holding down the bottom of this ranking tier. Okay. Oh, fuck, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit. We have one more. And it is the Happy Hour Passion Fruit. I am a passion fruit stan. I love passion fruit. I really don't know if I can take another fucking sip of anything at this point because I just feel like ass. Not even ass and titties, just ass. We should do a fucking thing where I rank joints or something that I enjoy. <laughs> Please. This is unbearable. Um, Thank you all for sitting through this. And if you haven't and you left earlier, I get it. I would have too if I wasn't forced to be here i trust me i would have left by now um do not throw that owl at me until i'm ready i still have one more do not even throw the fucking owl at me i'm ready to rip that owl's head off i've had so much to drink of shit that i fucking hate oh my god i am like literally on one right now i'm on 26 in fact all right this is happy hour passion fruit margarita tequila seltzer That was not as exciting as I thought it would be. Hmm. Um, I'm going to put her at a C and just leave her there. We're not going to think about it. We're not going to look back. That is a C for concluding this segment. Thank fucking God. Now when I'm dead, you can put my dead fucking limp body in this giant cooler that I just pulled <laughs> 26 seltzers out of. I Oh, my God. Ooh. Ooh. I'm it's here, here with some, some vomit. Um... This is the part of the episode where I just pass away, um, where the secrets owl is here. You guys can submit secrets at the link in this description. <sighs> Sorry, I just timed out. Um, you guys can submit secrets that you've never admitted. A link in the description. Let's get into it. Oh, my God. This is a paragraph. I really don't think I'll survive till the end. Okay, so T, my mom was cheating on my dad for a long time, and I knew because I kept looking through her messages, but my dad didn't know, and I'm a daddy's girl, so I'm going to stick up for my dad. I just didn't want a problem to arise with me and my mom. Anyway, one night while she was sleeping, I texted the guy pretending to be her and asked him to send a screenshot of their messages because I, she, accidentally deleted everything and wanted to have them to look back on. He sent the screenshots and I deleted those parts of the messages so she didn't see and made a fake email and sent them all to my dad so it seemed like it came from the guy. My parents ended up breaking up after 21 years and my dad is now engaged to my new stepmom. I regret nothing. If I felt anything at this point, I would have a reaction to that. Do you guys have anything? (laughs) I'm like, guys, help. Help me. Cool. Cool fun <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's impressive it is impressive that you did all of that and also like 
did that. Thank you. <laughs> Next up. Okay, so basically, I have a small, very small bladder, and I have to pee a lot. In, like, fourth grade, I was on the bus going home, and I had to piss so, so bad. I ended up convincing my friend to hold a jacket over me, and I pissed on the floor of the bus. But because I was in the middle seat, or I was in the middle of the bus, all my pee ended up trickling down the bottom of the bus to the back, and everyone thought a water bottle spilled. No joke, and I got away with that shit. LMAO, no one ever knew. That's pretty clutch, except for the fact it did not smell like urine. Huh? Did it not smell like piss? But that's also why I don't put my feet on the ground at movie theaters and for a while airplanes because I was afraid of people or like buses too, of people like like throwing up and then it rolling everywhere. What do you do instead? What do you mean? Like where do your feet go? On my chair. I sit like a little pee. <laughs> a pee in a pod. Oh my God, I have to film a video after this. Hooray. I'm going to vomit. I'm going to vomit. Oh my God, when is this over? I'm so sorry that this episode started so strong. It really did. And then 26 seltzers later, it turns out, no, no, no. My ex and I were together for six years and we used to have threesomes with one of his married friends. That... Is it 26 seltzers or is that math not math? Yeah, that's weird. So it was one of the married people not involved? Yeah. <laughs> like, why not a foursome? With Anyways. one of the married friends. Yeah, right? Maybe the other just wasn't into it. He cheated on me and we... Br- Wait, whoa. I need to start <laughs> over. <laughs> I'm like, where are we now? Say what? My ex and I were together for six years and we used to have threesomes with one of his married friends. He cheated on me and we broke up about six months ago and to cope with it all i've been fucking the friend on a weekly basis his wife has absolutely no idea and it's the most exciting part of my life love you and say hi to booger for me oh stop guys i always get conflicted because i'm always one to root for people getting it okay i really am i think everyone should be getting it you know i don't know if it's because i'm not but i think everyone should not if the person's spouse doesn't know. Come on, guys. What? I'm moving the mic and I just realized that I'm basically like, it's simulating. Yeah. We don't, you can watch the episode to figure out what it looked like. Um, ah, stop sleeping with married people. Right? Yeah. Or do we just like, why do I care? Well, why do I care? It seems like the person It just seems like you it, know. It open at first. Yeah. Now, now that you know that there's someone and they don't know, like you should like let them know and see if they're okay with it. I don't know. Like I just feel like if you do that, it's gonna happen to you. Am I speaking English? Yeah. Yeah, karma. It is not sounding like what I'm hearing in my headphones does it's not none of it's making sense. When I was in kindergarten, this girl took my seat at reading time. So while the teacher was away, I bit my arm so hard. I took a chunk of skin out and scratched my face and arms and drew blood and blamed it on the girl who then got suspended for the rest of the school year. This was in the first month. So you just like Wolverine to yourself in the middle of class. (laughs) Over a reading seat. (laughs) this person says i bit a chunk out of my arm scratched my face and arms and drew blood and blamed it on the girl who took his reading seat i think i could throw up no we're good it's just a burp i don't have the capacity to break that one down i horse sat is that real oh house sat (laughs) that is a word i have not heard in my 28 years of life. I house sat for a friend when she was on vacation and got so outrageously horny that I ended up masturbating using her vibrator without even cleaning it first. I mean, wow. Sisterhood of the Traveling Vibrator. That's a sequel. My mom used to put Vaseline on her eyes before bed, and when I was like six, I put vapor rub inside of it because it looked similar. She's fine now? (laughs) Did that make sense? 
Kind of, but not. They no. put vapor rub in the eyelash Vaseline. Like why the would Vaseline. you? Why would you move some thing from the tub into another tub? Yeah, like, no, what? that's the part I'm having trouble with. Do we have a new game on our hands? What? You guys add a secret in that you've made up. And I have to guess at the end of them which one is the one that you guys submitted. Oh. Which which one's the secret secret? Which one's the fake secret? The fake secret. The face secret. <laughs> the fist secret. The fes- fiscal responsibility. <laughs> um, oh. Wait, that. let's do that though. You guys can just come up with gibberish. I mean, it has to be like somewhat believable. But, but then... That one sounds... Like, but this one sounds like it would be from you guys. No, that's this one sparked <laughs> this one sparked the idea. Come on, Jordan Sparks. Um, I'm sorry to bring you into this episode, Jordan Sparks. You've been through enough. Um, but we should do that. Thoughts? It's like eight. Yes. <laughs> one resounding. Well, Jake just made the decision for all of you. Um, and on that note, I'm going to go find the nearest bathroom. Thank you all so much for listening to this episode of Unhinged with Chris Clemens. That was just absolutely truly unhinged i'm gonna go oh my god to a mcdonald's drive can we go to in and out on the way home oh my god thank you i'll buy you in and out um be sure to subscribe to unhinged with chris clemens where we listen podcasts and watch the video portions on my episode on my youtube channel youtube.com slash chris rate and review and I just want to go stretch. home. I just want to go home. I just want to go home. I just want to go home. Um, share it. Share it. Love you. <sighs> All right, now we shotgun a beer. <laughs> yeah. I think we're getting it right. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I committed to that role. Bye.